Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. In the modern day world we live in, we see how people misuse power, as if it's not going to have any repercussions. Well, it looks like the ultimate success. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Say, O Muhammad, travel through the land and observe how he began creation. Then Allah will produce the final creation. Indeed, Allah over all things is competent. Let's have a look at ancient Egypt. Its pyramids still exist. Look at archaeological excavations that come out in the great empires of the past. Where are these people now? What happened to the might of wealth and pride they had? This is a lesson. We're not going to live here forever. We're going to go back to our Lord, the King, Allahu Akbar. The same concept applies to powerful governments across the globe. What is the goal of governance? To maintain law and order, to make sure peace in society or work towards it. China, well, I don't want to introduce it anymore. I have nothing against them. We know the past civilization, which dates back to 5,000 years. We appreciate the technological advancement they have in terms of civil infrastructure, Beijing, Shanghai, Xi'an, any of these cities is not less than the first world. It's at par excellence in transport, ambience, GDP, clean cities. Now look at this footage. It's heartbreaking, isn't it? How dare these people? What level of ignorance is this? A'udhu Billah. When you don't like someone's faith, you can just stay away and mind your own business. Imagine the money put into it. What are they even trying to prove? By the way, this is not going to bring any good. Shahada is a declaration of our faith, where we testify and bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except for Allah and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is his last and final messenger. We say it many times a day. I wish we say it more. May Allah grant us the ability to remember him and worship him in the best manner. Ameen. Well, it looks like in this footage, someone's saying it's beautiful. Probably, it's a restaurant. They do horrible things and they wonder why is there radicalization. People don't just get angry or maniac for no reason. Imagine the plight of Muslims in those lands. We all know the grave crimes being committed in East Turkestan. We always thought colonization is a Western concept. The Chinese government wants to write a new history, even breaking the record of Nazi Germany. When will this deafening silence of Muslim government stop? Chinese government forcing their language upon Uyghurs, banning Quran, Hijab, Ramadan, and the list goes on. They want to cynicize them. There is the nature of tribalism in human communities. We attach so much pride to our language, our cuisine, our accent, our history, especially associated with the land. Unfortunately, this is the lens we look at the world with. There's nothing wrong in loving these things. Erasing minorities' cultures, their language, their script, calling them terrorists, even though they're not. Utilizing the Western propaganda of media, which exists. Can anybody call these things a characteristic of the civilized nation? By the way, the oldest mosque in China dates back to 742 AD, the first century of Hijrah. It's in Xi'an. Muslims are living and scanned across East and West. Brothers and sisters, the more higher and difficult the test, the higher is the reward. It's easier said. Our hearts ache for Muslims of China, especially in the Uyghur region. May Allah grant them freedom and prosperity. Ameen. That's it for today, brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum.